Non-compliant patients are people who don't follow medicinal regimens, they don't take our advice, they won't get studies when it's necessary, and they never follow any advice. And these are the people who have the worst outcomes. Just a few days ago, a patient of mine came in who had every conceivable risk factor for heart disease. He had cholesterol, and he had blood sugar, and he had high blood pressure, and he was overweight. And, and I'm trying to recommend to this guy things that he can do to increase his chances for life. He interrupted me and said, I don't need to take medicine for cholesterol. I can take orange peel, and I don't have to take anything for my, to lower my blood sugar. I can just take cinnamon. People will believe anything, especially if it's online. Why do we worry about this? Well, simply because noncompliance is, and oftentimes in a courtroom, is, is alleged as substandard care, and it's very difficult to distinguish between the two in front of a jury. It's not just an obstacle in the courtroom, it's an obstacle to me trying to do my job as a physician. And it also adds to the economic burden of disease. The barriers to noncompliance? Well, there's complexity of modern medical regimens. There's poor health literacy. There's lack of uh, comprehension about the benefits of treatment. Side effects, real or perceived cost, poor communication, lack of trust, and denial. To improve on noncompliance, we as physicians have to document our, our attempts to reschedule patients. We have to simplify our explanations of medical regimens, perhaps simplify the medical regimens themselves. In some cases, we have to involve social services. We have to uh, be an active listener. Remember, patients oftentimes do not understand what it is we're trying to prevent until they manifest. It is only then, when they are now, if they're still alive, suffering, and they're living out all those things that we try to prevent, and they, if, or one of their loved ones, looks for someone to blame. If we're not successful, then perhaps we have to consider termination of the physician-patient relationship. Mm -hmm.